welcome back we are here with 24th of mass quality blessing now whenever we achieve something in our life or we attain someone a loved one in our life we are laughing we are singing and we are joyous there's some form of happiness within and that form of happiness is constant right so here too we're going to find out how exactly when we have a relationship with the creator father as we discussed yesterday that he becomes our mother, father, brother, sister, even a friend, then the kind of happiness and joy which should be there within us should be constant. So God here says, may your heart be happy and always laugh. Sing and fly by making the one father your world. Making the one father your world. It is said, the world changes with your vision. As the vision, so is the world, right? If you see things bad in the world, then everything becomes bad. If you say things are good in the world, then everything good comes to us. So your world has changed with your spiritual vision. The Father is now the world for you. Creator is the world for you. That means you don't see people or malice or anything negative or impure. Yes, you are using the powers to protect yourself. You are wise enough to understand the difference. But what you see is not people. You don't get into the jamela of the world. You are always looking at the creator. There is a difference between your world before and your world now. Before having this spiritual knowledge, everything seemed to be aggravated. Ego was aggravated. Jealousy, hatred, anger, lustful activities aggravated. And then suddenly when father comes into our world, and he bestows his beautiful, powerful, divine knowledge in this Sangam Yuk, the world changes for us. And so your intellect has stopped wandering. Earlier it used to be wandering around to find love and happiness from people and things and always trying to be one upon the other. May you have found the Father who has given you unlimited attainments. And so what more do you want? So what are these unlimited attainments? These are the spiritual values, the spiritual powers, the spiritual knowledge about our past life, our past births, so that we can understand and also know what is going to come in the future and be ready to become that pure being again, what we were there in the past. So it's a circle, it's a cycle actually. So God is giving us this cycle knowledge so that we become the same being as we were earlier you have found the father who has given you unlimited attainments and so what more do you want you want anything in the world to make you happy and content no therefore just continue to be constantly happy while laughing singing and flying flying where flying not in the plane but flying up and meeting the Supreme Creator. That means you're always in the higher stage of consciousness and also always connected. You're flying as a soul, you're flying with your thoughts into the Supreme Abode, the red golden world where the Supreme Creator resides. Even if Maya tries to make you cry, do not cry. Maya means even if situations bring about anger in you, ego in you, or any form of hatred in you, or any form of attachment in you, and why's and what's, God says, don't cry, just fly, be happy, be content and be singing. And now all this is possible when we have a stage of spirituality and a practice on a daily basis. And the same can be learned in a Brahma Kumari center, very close to your own house. Just Google it and find out where exactly is that center. Om Shanti.